What's up YouTube? Nate here with the Lane Family Farmstead and today I've got a bit of a treat for you. As you can see it's a nice late spring early summer day and I'm in some heavy clothes. No it's not snowing. I got bees and today is basically going to be my first hive inspection. Bees scare me even though I've been told I shouldn't and I've been around them a few times in my my beekeeping gear but everybody's out of the the hive right now I got a five frame nuke on Sunday and yeah I know it's only Wednesday right now but I wanted to give them a few days to kind of get acclimated to the area and I didn't want to aggravate them because like all day Sunday they were being jostled around and moved so it was a it was a very very healthy hive nuke whatever you want to call it that I got <laughs> I have no idea what that was but it was very it was a very healthy hive that I got like super overpacked they were ready to be expanded so I'm checking to see if they've drawn out the comb on the new frames that I've given them I've got a spare um, deep with 10 frames in it right now just behind me I'm gonna take that up with me that way if they have drawn out most of those new frames I'm, I've given them I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the new um, deep in there so they can start expanding into that. But first, gonna light my smoker, and then we're gonna head over. I hope I don't die. So for my smoker, yeah, it came with pellets, but I'm actually just using pine shavings that I use for um, the bedding in my chicken coop. I tried shavings and grass clippings, and they worked okay. I mean, nothing to write home about, but they went out pretty quick. So I figure, um, at the time I'd figured, it's like, well, screw it, you know, I'll, I'll use my pine shavings. So I'm just making sure this is going nice and good before I close it up. Again, I'm a brand new beekeeper. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing right now. Um, I've done a lot of reading, and I got a couple people that have already. Ah, there we go. I got a couple people that have already offered to, you know, be my mentor for this. So if I run into any trouble with the hive, I've got people I can very quickly and immediately call. They're blowing out smoke. There we go. Ah, that was already super fucking hot. Ah, there we are. Cool. All right, smoker's running. I've got my bee brush. I have my bee tool, although it's really just a cheapo I got in a kit from Tractor Supply. I'm probably gonna order a new one just because I kind of don't like this one already. But ultimately, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I've got the frame, I've got the hive just up behind my house. Ah, and there go my glasses. This, boys and girls, is exactly why I will be switching over to contacts as soon as my optometrist calls me and says that they're in stock. Because with all the work I'm doing outside, I, I need something better than, than glasses. These glasses just fall off my face. Let's see, how did she say? There we go. All right. So how do I look? Do I look fashionable? Do I look like a real beekeeper? I don't feel like one yet. Oh, I don't like that. My my jacket came with uh, thumb loops. 
And I've seen some people wear them. But honestly, after spending all of last hunting season in jackets that had thumb loops on it, I'm kind of tired of having things looped around my thumbs. So, this is going to be an interesting experience for me. This will be my first hive inspection unsupervised. Long term, what I'm wanting to do is basically turn this into a business and not because bees are profitable and everything I've read and heard say they are, but you know, I think I'm going to end up liking this. I like all the pomp and circumstance behind, you know, getting everything prepped. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you over with me with my smoker and just smoke with myself real quick. Nobody told me I had to do this, but nobody told me I shouldn't either. So that's running nice and well. If the hive looks nice and healthy, I will, obviously I'll come over, grab my second brood box and we'll be away. I'm legit kind of scared right now. I actually took an extra, an extra dose of anxiety pill about an hour ago. So I'm like, ooh, this gonna be fun. All right, let's go see if I could do this without pissing my bees off. Oh, and there's something in my veil with me. All right, I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. All right, so far so good. Damn it. Okay. So the problem I'm noticing is they're not drawing out the plastic frames or the plastic foundation on the frames. So I'm gonna reach out to my mentor and see what they have to say. I may just have to throw in I may just have to throw in um, the new frames I bought. I got six double wax foundation frames, so that's I can do that if necessary. But I'll, let's see if you can see down in here. All right, so we're gonna head back over. I'm gonna shoot a message off to my mentor and we'll see what they have to say about that. But odds are, I'll, I'll have to put in those wax frames. Because the, the, what do you call it? The frames I got from them, I pulled one out, just because my nerves really started to leave me, and that looked pretty okay. So now my big concern is really just seeing seeing if I should put the the new frames in there or give them a few more days cuz I really didn't see them doing any kind of comb drawing and then I saw a few dead bees just outside the hive so I'm worried that maybe I picked a bad spot or I've got a local pest trying to eat them so I'm going to reach out then I'll let you guys know what the answer is on that all right it's a uh, two days later I meant to get to my bees a little bit sooner than I have, but uh, I mean, there's no easy way to say this, but my dad just just passed this morning, so I haven't really had the time to do anything. So I figured I'd come home while I'm still working on processing to get these bees done because bees don't wait for anything and it's a good escape. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes, get my smoker lit, and then we're gonna go over and see the bees. It's a little later in the afternoon than what I'm comfortable with, 
but it's also Saturday. And when I first took the time to start looking, it was Tuesday or Wednesday. So I want to check again on a couple of things. One, I want to see if they're drawing out that drawing out comb on that plastic foundation. And if they're not, I'm going to have to swap in my my wax foundations. Probably unsafe to put that on the ground, but that's where it's going for a minute. Because I gotta put my gloves and everything on. So we'll head over to the the bee yard and have us a look, see how everything's going over there. I'm just uh I'm a little nervous about going over there so late in the evening because you know, this is about the time when all the workers are starting to arrive back for the night and, well, all the foragers, sorry. This is about the time when all the foragers are starting to arrive back for the night and settle in, so. I'm gonna do a bit of an assessment at a distance. And, oh, that's what I'm missing. I forgot to put my hat on. Good news, I have my camera set up on my car, so. And, my hats are in my car. I thought something felt off. I was like, this veil went on way too easy. And that explains it. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this today. I should be waiting. But I've had the bees. It'll be a week tomorrow, really. Um, so, honestly, it's time. It's definitely time to go in and take a look. <laughs> you know, the, the thing I found kind of cool about beekeeping so far and I'm acting like I've been doing this for years. Um, one, my gloves and everything are starting to really break in, which is nice. But because the gloves are so long and my sleeves are so long, you know, how they overlap, I feel like I'm a surgeon. I feel like I'm going in for some, you know, multi-million dollar, super important surgery. Maybe if I get stung, I'll turn into an MCU hero. Anaphylactic man. He can swell up on command. I felt like that was a little dark. I'm gonna leave that in the video though. Because my goal is not to... My goal is not necessarily to just present the best version of me visually, it's also to I mean, I, it's not to present the best version of me, it's to present the real me. So, dark humor is kind of how I deal with grief, not gonna lie. Figured I would just hit myself with a few puffs of smoke just to make sure. So, I'm gonna grab the rest of my equipment, we're gonna head over and finish up the inspection we started like three days ago. Yeah, not looking good. So yeah, my fears were confirmed. They were not drawing out that plastic comb the way I was expecting them to. I was able to get one frame of wax in there before they just really started to get mad. Um, so it's very clear I've still got things to learn. My biggest mistake was doing this so late in the night when all the the foragers are heading back into the hive. So I'm gonna go out midday tomorrow at its hottest while they're all out and see if I can't get the rest of those wax foundations in there. 
because they're just they're taking their sweet ass time to build on that and from what i've seen it shouldn't be taking them that long because there it does look like there's fresh brood in there but i'm moving so slow at this point i can't get into the existing five frames without them already getting mad so i'm gonna have to look around for some advice and we'll go from there but this video has already gone on like super long so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to an end, go in, grab me a bite, and then, you know, stay tuned for more of my beekeeping hijinks, because I have no idea what I'm doing. In the meantime, hit the like, share, follow button, subscribe, that's what it is, um, and I'll catch you guys later. Um, I wanted to add on to this video before I went ahead and started cutting everything up. So if you remember where we left off, I had pulled out a few of the plastic frames, um, but I couldn't get all of the wax foundations in there because I pissed them off. I'm still a novice, so I'm upsetting them pretty easily right now. But they'd already drawn out comb from the roof of the hive. They'd already started bridging the gaps that I left after I, you know, chickened out yesterday. And so apparently they do build, apparently my hive builds super fast. They just didn't like those plastic foundations. So I got the double wax foundations in now. I'm going to leave them for probably two or three days. Again, let them calm down because I've just ticked them off two days in a row. And I don't want to turn this hive aggressive if I don't have to. There was some healthy looking wax on there too. Numbers looked up. I think the big mistake I'm making is I'm doing the inspections towards the end of the day versus in the middle of the day when all the, you know, the foragers are out. So that's a lesson to be learned on my end. So I have to, at the end of this week, go get new plastic foundations not plastic, new double wax foundation frames so I can have that second box ready because at this point there's only like two or three frames left in there and I don't just want to throw it on the existing deep right now because I'm going to run into this exact same scenario and I'm really not fond of antagonizing my bees. I do, however, want to get a new hive tool. I don't like the one I've got. The one I see everybody use has that J-hook on it and the one I've been using, it does not have a J-hook. So it makes me a little bit more reticent to pick the frames up because I have to pry from the ends versus, you know, coming in right there at the edge. So yeah, next objective. But that's the last update for this video. I'm going to get it thrown together, get it uploaded. But yeah, leave a, leave a comment below if you've got some best practices on what I should be doing different. Uh, I'd, I'd absolutely love to hear it. I'm not too proud of myself to where I can't accept feedback. So yeah, let me know. And... I'll catch you guys later.